everyone so a few days ago i posted a mini tutorial video of this tulip key cover on my instagram and tiktok i want to say thank you so much for all the lovely compliments and i'm glad that you guys love it and now due to some requests from you guys i'm gonna show you how to make this cutie tulip key cover that can also be used as a big charm so let's get started for this project i'm using five ply milk cotton yarn a 3.5 mm hook, a scissors, a tapestry needle, a stitch marker, and a ring for the key. First, make a slip knot, or you can also use the magic ring. Then chain 2 and continue make 6 single crochet in the very first chain. Now we will continue to the second round, make increase, repeat for 6 times. So for the increase, we have to make 2 single crochet in the same stitch. Don't forget to put on a stitch marker in the first single crochet because we will work around without any slip stitch. So we will have 12 single crochet for this round. Next, we will continue to the third round. We will make one single crochet and then one increase repeat for six times. In the end, we will have 18 single crochet. I will repeat this pattern and we will meet at the end of the round. Now for the fourth round, we will make one single crochet, one increase, and another one single crochet. Repeat for six times. In the end, we will have 24 single crochet. I will continue crocheting and we will meet at the end of the round. Alright, before we continue to the next round, I'm gonna tell you that this pattern is actually adjustable. So, I am currently have two different sizes here. This is the small one, which is the one that I'm gonna make in this video. And this is the big one, it's suitable for bigger key like car key. So for this big one, all you have to do is keep increasing in the next round, which is the fifth round. So for the fifth round, we have to make three single crochet and then one increase. In the end, we will have 30 single crochet. After that, we only have to make single crochet around for the next 10 rounds or until round 15. Now let's continue our work. So from round 5 to round 14, we only have to make single crochet around. In the end, we will have 24 single crochet in every round. I will continue crocheting and we will meet at the end of 14 round. Alright, now this is how our tulip looks so far. Then we will continue to make the petals. First, we will slip stitch into the same stitch as the last single crochet. Then chain 1, skip 1 stitch and go to the next one. We will make 5 half double crochet in the same stitch or we can call it a mini scallop stitch. After that, chain 1, skip 1 stitch and go to the next one, then slip stitch. So, this is our first petal and we will repeat this pattern for 5 more times. In the end, we will have 6 petals. I 
I will continue working on these petals and we will meet after I finish them all. So this is our last petal and we will skip the last two single crochet. Then continue slip stitch into the first slip stitch that we made at the beginning. After that finish it off with chain 1, cut off the yarn and fasten off. So we have finished our tulip and now we will continue to make the stem or the long strap and also the leaves. For the stem first make a slip knot. After that chain 50. After that don't fast enough and grab the tulip. Now we will insert the hook into the center loop of the tulip. Then grab the stem and pull it out the loop. Next we will attach the ring on the other side of the stem. Then grab the tapestry needle and we will also pull the stem out of the loop. After that, grab the hook and insert the hook into the drop loop. Now we will continue to make the leaf. First, slip stitch into the very first chain. Then chain 10. Start from the second chain of the hook, make slip stitch, single crochet, a half double crochet, three double crochet, A half double crochet, single crochet, and slip stitch. Now we will work on the other side of the chain. Turn the leaf and make slip stitch, then single crochet, a half double crochet, three double crochet. A half double crochet, single crochet, then slip stitch. So this is our first leaf and now we will make slip stitch into the very first stitch. Then finish it off with chain 1, cut off the yarn and fasten off. Now we will continue to the second leaf, insert the hook and attach the yarn, then chain 10, and we will repeat the same pattern as the first leaf.
So we have finished both of our leaves and now we will continue to weave in ends all these tails to make it neater. And finally we have finished our tulip key cover. I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you do please don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons. And also feel free to tag me on Instagram or TikTok if you make any project that following my tutorials. So see you in the next video. Bye bye.